Let's look at three nice online tools to help you study for calculus. So I think the first one is probably the most well known that we'll go over today, and that is Wolfram Alpha. So essentially, this is like a graphing calculator and a search engine all in one. So it'll graph functions, like perhaps we wanna graph y equals x times sine x. And well, check it out. It just gives you the graph very, very easily. It'll also give you alternate forms, roots, so on and so forth. And you don't have to worry about notation that much. It'll pretty much figure out what you're asking for. So as we've seen, Wolfram Alpha is a great tool for getting some intuition for what functions look like and also for checking your answers. So my next calculus study tool is ChatGPT, but maybe not in the way that you think. What I like to use ChatGPT for is to generate practice problem sets very, very quickly. So let's see what ChatGPT can do. I'm gonna ask if it can write 25 use substitution integration practice problems, um, including definite and indefinite integrals. So let's see what we get. Okay, so as you see, we're getting a lot of integration problems and well, some of these are pretty easy and some of these are a little bit trickier. But if you're just learning use substitution, they're probably all great for practice. So again, if you've mastered all of the use substitution problems that your teacher gave you or that are in your textbook, these would be great ones to practice as well. And this isn't just for integration problems or use substitution problems. You can use this to generate calculus problems of all type. So my last tip for this video would simply be Google. I mean, this seems kind of silly because Google has been around for a long time. But let's say you're practicing for your first exam in calculus and you've done all of the problems that your teacher gave you and you want some more practice. Well, it turns out that lots of Calculus 1 exams are posted on the internet. So let's search Calculus 1 exam 1 and check it out. We've got a review sheet from this class, which is probably not the class that you're taking. And then we've got an exam walkthrough on YouTube, but we've also got practice exams and solutions right here from Notre Dame. And the fact that there are solutions here means that you can check your work. So we could go in here to practice exam one and check it out. We've got lots of problems to work on. And that's just in the first couple of Google results. If you go deeper into the search, you'll have lots more practice exams to take. And in hindsight, Googling for practice problems is a pretty obvious thing to do, but I've found that it's also super effective and hardly anyone thinks to do this. So there you have it, my three tips for working on calculus problems at home. And make sure to follow for more math tips.